Hi, what is up my dudes? It's Ariel. If you know me or if you don't know me, still Ariel. And today I'm gonna walk you through 10 of my favorite outfits I have been wearing for spring slash kind of going into summer. outfits I've been wearing or plan on wearing. In the past I've done outfit videos with a lot more outfits but in hindsight watching them back I feel like those weren't outfits I was actually wearing out but more so just stuff I threw together for the sake of having a certain number of outfits in the video. So this time around I really wanted to do it differently and actually put together outfits that I have either worn already or am planning on wearing in the near future because I think that that's more interesting and more accurate to my own style and I also think that as a result better outfits come out of it so yeah I took my time and put together things that I've actually been wearing I'm gonna give you the rundown on why I chose to pair them together where I'd wear them to etc and then you'll see how the outfit looks on of course so yeah without further ado let's just get into it so starting off with the first outfit this one is super simple but the reason I'm starting off on it is because this might be the outfit I've been sitting on the longest waiting for it to be warm enough to wear it out. I still haven't actually worn this one out, but I think that it'll be the perfect weather to wear it either this week or next week. I'm very excited about that. I've already thought of how I wanted to style it and everything. It is this knit dress by the designer Atsuro Tayama, and it's vintage. You can see the super old yellow tag here. I just think it's gorgeous. It has a cable knit that goes horizontally, and I got this from Japan. If you watch my most recent Japanese thrift haul, you can see when I unboxed it. I think I paid around $15 for it plus the additional shipping from Japan to the US and I paired it with my Birkenstock Boston clogs and those shoes I have been wearing so much. For a while I was wearing my North Face thermal ball puffer shoes and I think that the Birkenstock Boston clogs are the perfect transition from the more winter focused thermal ball slides to something perfect for spring. So I picked up the Birkenstock clogs maybe last month and I've been wearing them a ton. I like how the two neutral colors go to together really well. Super cozy. Throw this on for whatever. Honestly, I'd probably wear it if I was going to a farmer's market. I can just picture myself wearing it on a Sunday morning, just walking around the city, not doing anything too crazy. I also paired it with my Vivian Westwood bowling style bag. I think the neutral colors on that just fit perfectly with the colors already in the outfit. Very much giving tan, giving brown. I tried it with some different jackets, but I wasn't really a fan of how the jackets looked with it. I don't know, let me know what you think. During the spring, I really do like to have a jacket with me at all times because you never know how the weather might change throughout the day. Usually in the morning, it'll be a lot warmer and then more towards the afternoon, it'll get really cold so you kind of need a jacket. But I wasn't really feeling the jacket with this outfit so I don't know what I would end up wearing over it but let me know what you think about how the jackets look. Okay, moving on to outfit number two. I paired my pair parachute pants. These ones that I showed in my last video towards the end and I got these on eBay. They were pretty cheap. They were around $30 but they are kind of thin and then for the top I wore my fairly new Heaven Marc Jacobs fish baby tee which I think is super cute. When I saw the drop online I knew I had to have this one. I love a good all over print. If you're a regular on this channel you already know but I just love the contrast of the blue eyes on the fish with the red of their bodies and I like that there's such motion in the print. I never tried it on when I picked it up in the store so I am a little bit underwhelmed with the fit of it. It's not my favorite compared to other baby tees I have but I still think it's pretty cute and I'm looking forward to getting some good wear out of it this season. So I paired these two together and with it I just put a little bow in my hair and I wore my Adidas Sambas for the sneakers and this I would wear pretty much anywhere. I think I'll probably end up wearing it to work this week. It's super chill, very breezy. These pants are super lightweight, which I love. Perfect for spring and summer. The only thing about them is since they are kind of see-through, in this clip of me trying it on, I am wearing leggings underneath, which can get a little hot depending on the weather or the day. I think it's good for now, this type of spring warm, but not too warm weather. But in the summer, I could see it getting pretty stuffy. But yeah, I really like how the black in the top and then the white on the bottom go together. I sometimes find it hard 
hard to wear a white pant. It can look odd sometimes or it could just look too light altogether. So I feel like the black top balances it out while also incorporating the white and the highlights of the fish on the print. I decided to pair it with my Adidas Sambas on the feet for the sneakers because that's another shoe that I have been wearing a lot for the spring and definitely see myself wearing a lot into summer as well. I thrifted my pair about a year or two ago and I'm so happy I ended up picking them up because I've worn them so much for the maybe eight or ten dollars I paid for them. They're such a great staple. I can think of so many ways to style them and sometimes I have to hold myself back on wearing them because I just wear them so often. But if you were looking for a sneaker for the season, I know they are very trendy but I feel like it's for good reason and I would totally recommend getting yourself a pair if you were interested or thinking about it. For outfit number three, I'm really excited about this outfit actually. So last week I thrifted these amazing jeans. They are Levi's. The tag is so faded that I can't even see what style they are but they fit almost like 501s but they don't have a button fly which makes me think that they're probably 505. I don't know though. But they're so cool. They're definitely vintage. They seem like they were originally black and then were over dyed with orange dye so they kind of have this orange wash to them. Just the coolest thing ever. They were $22 at a place called Crossroads which is kind of like Buffalo Exchange. It's like a curated thrift store and people can bring in their stuff and get paid for it. Kind of like consignment thrift but yeah I thought they were such a good price and they fit me perfectly. They have a nice long 34 inch inseam and I believe a 30 waist. I'm a big fan of these but when I picked them up I really had no idea how I would style them but they fit too good and were such good quality for me to let them go so I picked them up anyway without really knowing how I wanted to style them but I'm really happy to have found something that goes well with it in my opinion so on the top I paired this Vivian Westwood 3-4 sleeve top it has this funky print on it from afar it almost looks like cheetah print kind of but it actually is just little dots and then little swirls and it's an all over print which I love and then it has the embroidered orb logo right here on the chest and the fit of it is kind of like a corset. It has a nice rounded hem on the bottom and it scoops pretty low in the front. And then I also put over this a button up collared dress shirt kind of. The one I'm wearing is from Brandy Melville but you can literally get them anywhere. I do appreciate the cut of the one I'm wearing though because it's really nice and fitted. It's kind of tailored so if I were to button it fully it would still be kind of a nice fit opposed to a lot of the button up dress shirts I already own are kind of over size and I'm pretty sure they're all men so they don't really keep in mind what a flattering cut would be for women. So I splurged a bit and got the one from Brandy Melville. It was $32 but I think I'll get some good wear out of it. It's a pretty good basic and staple to have. I can also really see myself wearing that same top in a similar style as to how I'm styling it in this outfit with a pair of parachute pants and just a little bralette underneath. I think that's super cute. But in this outfit I really liked that if you button just the very top button you can still see the little orb from the Vivian Westwood top but it kind of adds a bit of a dressier element to the whole outfit. I could definitely wear this outfit with or without the button up but I think the button up adds to it. I also wore the same ribbon in my hair from the last outfit. I've been wearing a little ribbon in my hair a lot specifically when I do a ponytail because I feel like that's the most fitting that I can incorporate it but I really like the little feminine touch it can add to a fit that's otherwise not necessarily masculine but more so masculine and then for the shoes I just paired my Margiela replica sneakers they're very similar to the Adidas Samba in their cut this style of shoe is called a German army trainer so there are a bunch of different shoes you can find with that similar shape and style but I got the Margiela ones a while back because they were one of the first designer items that I really loved since I was in high school between having the black Sambas and and the cream Margiela sneakers. I kind of have my bases covered with a nice summer shoe. I'm really enjoying a flatter silhouette of sneaker and something more sleek compared to a Nike Dunk which is a bit more rounded or chunky or even like a Jordan 1 or Jordan 4 which I've leaned more towards in the past. So for this next outfit I can't even begin to express how much of a fan I am of it. I've had all these pieces in my wardrobe for a little bit now and I had no idea how to style them until I thought of pairing them together.
together and I'm so glad I did because I think that they look really good together. I got this top by a brand called El Rodeo. It's a Japanese brand. They do a lot of patchwork on all of their clothes. That's kind of their thing. So I bought this top from Japan a year and a half ago or so and I still haven't worn it out but I just think it's so cool and I love the little cowgirl on it but I particularly love the sleeves. Super unique and the cut of it is really flattering. It has a bit of a scoop neck which usually I wouldn't be a fan of but I'm becoming increasingly more of a fan of if it's done right. And then for the bottom I paired it with this skirt which is crazy. I don't know where the skirt is from. As you can see it has no tag on it but I have reason to believe it's probably diesel or gerbo but I don't know I'm just assuming. I thrifted this and there's no other indication of what brand the skirt might be apart from the tag that was ripped out but I just think the skirt is so beautiful but I had such trouble thinking of how I could style it. I don't really have any skirts with volume in the skirt but I am a big fan of it and I just think that these two paired together look so good and then on the feet I decided to go with these gorgeous pointed toe stiletto heels that I got quite recently. I unboxed them in the last video I posted. They're gorgeous. I love them. They just have a nice little buckle across the toe and I thought that the pink goes so well with the pink tones in the sleeves without being too obvious. I haven't worn this outfit yet but if I were to wear it I think I'd wear it to brunch or a more formal outing but in the day because it's definitely more of a daytime look but it's a bit more dressy than what I'd wear on the day to day especially with those boots as gorgeous as they are. I couldn't really wear them to something where I plan to do a lot of walking unfortunately which I think is what has held me back from wearing it already but huge fan of this outfit. Each of the items in it are so unique and I would consider statement pieces but I think they look so good paired together. I can't wait to actually wear this. So this next outfit is something I have actually worn. I wore this to work last week and I just thought it was super chill, super cozy, very me. It consists of these shorts. They're like a cargo short and they're linen which I love. Very breathable. Only thing I don't love about them is they crease really easily. They get very wrinkled but I definitely say it's worth it. And I also thrifted these at Crossroads when I got those other orange Levi's. I just thought that they were a perfect addition for my wardrobe this summer. I could pair them with literally anything on the top and sneaker wise. I love where they fall on me and how they fit. A nice little knee length short. And then on top I paired this sweater which has these little stripes on it. It's kind of an ombre. I don't know if the camera's picking it up but it's a ombre gradient style sweater. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. And this also has no tag on it which is so disappointing. It's always the stuff that I really want to know who made it that have no tag on it. But I also thrifted this with this at Crossroads and I bought them with the idea in mind that I wanted to maybe wear them together. The sweater was about $28 and these shorts were I believe 18. I decided to pair them together because it was a warm day but instead of wearing some kind of jacket over a t-shirt I figured I'd just wear a sweater because I'd probably need an extra layer to keep me warm anyway. And then I also accessorized with this Stussy bucket hat that I got some months ago. This was part of their winter collection of 2022 or maybe 2021. Even though I bought it in the winter I knew that it had had enough range to be worn in warmer weather as well which I love compared to some of my beanies which I feel a bit weird wearing in such warm weather because it's so obviously a knit hat made for winter. This at least is kind of different. It fits like a beanie but it looks like a bucket hat. So yeah I thought that was pretty interesting. I really love how all the colors complement each other and for the shoes I just wore my Margella tabby canvas sneakers. I don't know how I feel about these which is like girl you bought them what do you mean? But but I really wanted something tabby but of course the ballet flats and the actual boots and stuff are a lot more expensive so I opted for the canvas sneaker which was like still expensive definitely still expensive but more reasonable for me and also more of something that I see myself wearing because as much as I'd love the little ballet flat I don't really see myself wearing it often and if I'm gonna pay that much for a shoe I want it to be something I can actually wear so instead I opted for a sneaker with the same signature split toe. I've been wearing them a decent amount. They are a little bit uncomfortable. I think I just have to get used to it but my toes do in fact chafe which is so funny but yeah. So 
I wore this outfit to work and then I went to the park afterwards which made me really thankful that I decided to go for a sweater on top. I did end up being quite cold and going home a bit earlier than I would have if I wore long pants and I was warmer but I'm okay with that. I think it served its purpose. I liked it. I was super cozy and I can't wait to wear each of these pieces separate and in their own way. For my next outfit I decided to go with this cargo skirt. I got the skirt on Depop and I originally bought it thinking it was brown but it is not brown. I don't know if you could really tell. It's a very light gray color and it just has some pockets and zipper detailing and believe it or not it's from H&M. The girl I got it on Depop from just said it was a Y2K skirt. She never said it was from H&M and I probably wouldn't have bought it if I knew it was from H&M just because I don't really like having H&M, Forever 21, Zara, fast fashion brands like that in my wardrobe because they're just so associated to me with not the best quality and everything I do already have from brands like that I never wear and I'm trying to phase out of my closet. However, I still really love this skirt so in that sense I'm kind of glad that they didn't mention that it was from H&M because then I probably would have missed out on it. And the quality is pretty good. I do think it's vintage H&M like probably from the early 2000s where I think the stuff was better quality and the styles were definitely better in my opinion. So I paired this skirt with this Miss 60 striped top. It just has a bunch of different purple tone stripes, has a little bit of gray, black, and cream in there as well. And it has this really nice asymmetrical zip, which I thought was super flattering. I wish I had a leather, I think it's called page boy cap. I think that would go so perfect with this outfit. However, I do not have one. I haven't worn this outfit yet, but when I do wear it, I think I'm gonna try to buy a leather cap like that beforehand so I could fully complete the look. I really love this outfit because it's not too dressy, but it's not too casual. I could wear this in a number of different scenarios, just walking around in the day. I could also wear it to a party or a club at night if I really wanted to. I'm still figuring out how to dress for occasions like that, parties and nightlife, even though I don't really participate, but I feel like I need to know, you know? And then on the feet, I went with my 80s Bugu sneakers. I could easily switch this out from a boot or if I wanted to wear it on a more formal occasion, but in my mind, I was thinking just wearing it on a day out on the town. So I'd want a really nice sneaker that I can walk in. However, these I can't necessarily walk in. They're a size too small for me. They're a 39, I typically wear a 40, but I found these on Depop and they're like my dream shoe, quote unquote. So I couldn't pass on them. I took out the insole to try to make it work a bit more, but they're still kind of tight. But I love them because they have these super cool spikes on the bottom. They remind me a lot of Mew Mew's older, I think it's like 99 or 98, bubble sole shoes and sneakers that they did and boots especially. The boots are my grail, but I also love the sneakers and these 80s sneakers are so reminiscent of that. But yeah, that was that outfit. Moving right along, outfit number seven is something that I haven't worn yet, but I have worn all these pieces fairly recently and I can't wait to style them together because I think it'll just be perfect. Starting off, I have this cargo skirt, which has been such a staple already for the spring. I have found myself reaching for the skirt so often. It's Union Bay and I got it on Poshmark for $8. Such a good pickup. I have shorter cargo skirts and I have longer cargo skirts, but I think that this one is the perfect length, a nice knee length skirt. I don't feel too exposed or feel like I have to worry about it blowing up or slashing people. I can sit on the train without my skin touching the seat, which is nice. It's just perfect. I love the slight contrast stitching and it has some pockets on the side. Pretty simple, so I can wear it with a number of different things. Definitely one of my favorites for the season. I really just love Union Bay stuff a lot. They have some cool cargo pants as well. And then I paired it with this number nine hoodie. This hoodie has been in my wardrobe for so long. I got it, I think, my junior year of high school, if not my sophomore year. And I now just finished my senior year of college. When I bought this, this was one of my favorite pieces ever, and I think it still is. So that just shows if you buy the right things, they can last in your wardrobe and still be a favorite piece. So even though this was one of the more expensive things that I owned at the time, probably the most expensive thing I owned at the time, I think I spent a little over $200 on this. I bought it on Grails. And I was super into number nine and undercover at the time and really starting to get into more 
Japanese designers and this was one of my first big purchases I made and I'm so happy I did. I think now if I were to try to find this it would be even more expensive than I paid. It just has a classic number nine school visual comedy logo on the front. I also have a T with the same logo and I love them both a ton. And then I also put over it a vest by the brand Atsuro Tayama which is the same brand that made the cable knit dress that's in my first outfit. I just thought it looked kind of cool with the skirt. I don't know if it's overkill or not but it just adds another little something. I would also love to add a belt. I think that would be a nice touch to this outfit as well. And then for the shoes I went with these diesel boots. These are kind of new in my wardrobe. I got them on Depop maybe a month ago and they're super warm. These velcro and then it opens up has a little diesel logo on the front. I got these for 35 and I bought them because I have a pair of diesel sneakers already that I really love and I'm always just on the hunt for more. So I found these in my size for like such a good price so I decided to pick them up. They are super worn and beat up but I'm okay with that. I also really loved the shape of them and the super square toe. It reminds me a lot of shoes by the brand Beauty Beast and also some shoes that 204 711 20 does because they have that kind of shape and even the little detailing on the side. I thought they would be pretty cool paired with the right fit and this fit felt perfect to style them with. The color matches so well to the hoodie and the shoe. Moving on to outfit number eight. This one is super simple, but I love it. It is my brown cargos. I thrifted these a year or so ago. They're just some gap cargos. I like that they really fit well at the waist, but they go so wide at the bottom. So they create the perfect baggy oversized look. They're pretty basic, just a nice khaki color and then have some pockets on the side. And I paired it with my new fave, which is this juicy gemstones tee, which just shows a bunch of gems. If you watched my last video, you saw when I unboxed this. Love this, and I have been wearing it a ton since I got it, so I think it was such a good purchase. And I did wear this exact outfit. I went to, not a farmer's market, but kind of a street fair market type thing in the city. I actually meant to just go and get groceries, but when I got off the train, there was this huge street fair and food fair going on, and it took up so many blocks, so I walked through it. I got some empanadas. And I also got some little pendants that I've been wearing a lot as necklaces. It was fun, it was cute, it was a moment, it was a nice, very warm summer day. For my bag, I just am carrying my Rick Owens tote. It comes for free if you buy a pair of the shoes, but I didn't buy my shoes directly from there. I got my shoes on Grailed, so I just bought the tote bag separately because I think it's a nice color, it looks pretty cute, simple, easy to just wear with anything, and it can also fit a good amount of stuff, which I like. I also paired it with my praying cap, which was such a good purchase. It's the slightly fatter New York cap with the real tree print and I love it so much. I got it last summer on Depop for 30 bucks. Such a good purchase. I was super into caps and trucker hats last summer. I'm wondering if I'm gonna be wearing them as much this summer but that one specifically I definitely will be wearing because I just love real tree and I love praying. I love the classic New York logo like you can't go wrong. I also paired it with my brown Solomons as a sneaker. I forget what video I mentioned how I really wanted the brown Solomons. I did decide to splurge on them. Worth it. I've been wearing them a ton. They go with a lot more than my gray ones do and I think between the two of them one pair will always match with what I want to wear if I'm feeling like wearing my Solomons, if I'm doing a lot of walking. So yeah, that is that outfit. Really love that one. We'll probably wear the exact same outfit again pretty soon because it's super comfortable. I like how the top and the bottom is oversized. I think sometimes that could be hard to really pull off right and it could look a bit too big, like you're drowning in it. But for some reason, I feel like it just works with that outfit. I feel super comfortable in it, and I think it looks good as well. Moving on to outfit number nine, which might be my favorite. I am also biased because I wore this exact thing yesterday. It's this gorgeous, hysteric glamour skirt. I don't think I've shown this on here, but it's a hysteric glamour cyber dot print skirt, and it's camo, but if you could see it, it says hysteric in little dots. The coolest thing in the world. This was on my list of most wanted hysteric pieces for so long and I couldn't believe when I found it. I think I got it maybe last November, but it's been too cold to wear it in the way that I wanted to without tights or anything, but I was finally able to wear it, which is really nice. And then I paired it with this top that I also got from Japan and it's by this brand Pygmies. I wish I could find more stuff by this brand because they're super cool, but I haven't really had any luck. 
has a super cool tag and then it has this cutout that looks like kind of a target on your chest and then it has these o-rings in the back just random cutouts which i think is so cool and then over that i put this dkny cargo vest i love this vest mainly because of the fit i think the fit is so flattering and i love how adding the vest really cinches in the look i think it all looks so cohesive together which i love this vest has a bunch of different pockets and stuff i feel like laura crofts when i wear it i love it in this video i paired it with my rick owens ramones but when i wore it yesterday i wore it with my demonias instead and i think i actually prefer it it's just a plain black platform boot which comes up to my knee and i think i like it better with the taller boot because it leaves less of a gap between the skirt and the shoe which i think kind of works proportion wise i also love that all together this kind of looks like a dress there's no skin showing there's no crop on the top or anything it just looks really cohesive and flattering all of the colors go really well together and then i also added my favorite favorite bag which is this vivian westwood shoulder bag it can fit so much stuff right now i have my water bottle a book so much stuff in there and it still has all this room this has definitely been a staple i wore it in a couple other outfits in this video but i think it goes so well with this outfit specifically this outfit is perfect to wear on a day out if you want to really stunt and pull a look versus being more casual which i would then wear a cargo pant or a jean but every once in a while i like to show out in a little skirt and do my thing and this outfit is perfect for that i just wore it in the day walking around chinatown i got some noodles with friends and it was really fun for my last outfit number 10 this is also an outfit i've actively worn outside starting with these levi's which i initially thrifted they're levi's 505 the fit is a little big on me they're a size 32 but i do like that they're nice and long as well they have a 34 inseam and i thrifted them plain maybe two years ago but then i had the idea of bleaching them i wanted them to look a lot like the eckhouse lotta jeans that were super popular at the time which i still love i would love to own those eventually but i couldn't afford them still can't so i dyed these thinking they would come out to look like those eckhouse lotta pants they really don't all that much but i still think they're really cool and then on the top i just paired this juicy mesh top this has been so coveted by me for so long and i was so excited when i finally found it but when i found it i had locks so the small little neck hole would not fit over my gigantic head but now i could like just force it over my head which is nice and i just paired a little tank top underneath it i like that you can see the distinction of the tank top under the shirt i could have worn a bralette that's my skin tone to be less noticeable and look like i'm not really wearing anything under there but i like how the tank top looks when i wore it i also paired my leather blazer over it just the plain black one but as i was putting together this outfit i thought of my red leather jacket and thought that could also look cool with this outfit so i tried them both let me know what you think looks better i am biased to the black one i just think that the colors complement each other super well i really love how the jeans came out and the muted wash of the black part how it's kind of gray and then for the shoes on this outfit i wore my adidas sambas like always something about pairing stussy with adidas it just works it looked super cute i like how it kind of made the outfit dress down i was going to wear my tabby canvas sneakers with it but i think that the adidas sambas just added a level of casualness to the outfit that was kind of needed especially if i were to wear the leather blazer on top i think it kind of needs something super contrasting to that to kind of take the outfit back to being casual when i wore this i just went to the park and i traveled an hour to get a burrito at this place which i will not name because the burrito was trash it wasn't trash it actually tasted a lot better the next day heated up but it was underwhelming for having traveled an hour but like who told me to travel an hour for a burrito anyways that was 10 outfits i've been wearing this spring and will be wearing if i haven't already i really hope you enjoyed seeing some of my favorite pieces and how i would style them let me know if you'd be interested in seeing more of a summer focused version of this video because a lot of these outfits are gonna be way too warm to wear in a month or two but i'm really happy i was able to put this together it's kind of tricky for me to figure out what works for an outfit video and i've never really tried doing this format where i'm sitting and talking and explaining each of the pieces and why i chose them so let me know if you like this or are more privy to just me showing the outfits with solely a voiceover i think that that way it can be a little more boring
boring, but I'm curious what you guys think and like to watch as I want to do stuff that you will enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you liked this video, if you want to see me ever again so I don't get lost in the void. But if not, that's cool too. I hope you have a great rest of your day or night or whatever you're having. Stay safe, stay well, stay healthy, all of that. And I will see you in my next video. Later!